Well, hey there, team, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome to Aquamarine. So this looks like a very serene submarine uh, survival game. I'm not sure if it's going to be lighter, but atmospherically probably a little less horror than we're sort of used to. As soon as you get into a submarine, they seem to leverage the horror a lot. So we've looked at Barotrauma and uh, Stirring Abyss is a big favorite of mine, very Cthulhu-y. And of course, you know, Subnautica. So these sort of games I quite enjoy, but this seems to be so sort of more going for, oh, I don't know, the majesty of exploration, uh, at least at first blush and a little less about scaring the living shit out of you. So let's have a bit of a look and see what it's all about. Aquamarine is best played without distractions. Oh, you mean like recording a video for YouTube? All progress is permanent and there's only one save per game. Take time to soak in the world, observe your environment, make careful decisions, thoughtful choices, a key to survival. Now I talk about this all the time. Um, as a bit of an indie enthusiast, I suppose, when a game's doing thing, things a little bit unconventional, a little bit different, which indies are often want to do, having a splash like this from the developer breaking the fourth wall at the beginning is fantastic. I know a lot of other developers watch my videos and that as well. There's nothing wrong with this. Just lay it out for the player. We appreciate it. Okay, we've got the vibe. It's about atmosphere. It's about immersion. I'm ready. My Let's go. Story began long ago oh. on the edge of the known galaxy i was the newly appointed seeker oh sent to find scarlet seeker for our survival oh, in a bubble but what i discovered challenged my own will to survive right furries that had challenged my will began long ago on a planet lost to time. Oh, this is lovely on a art. Planet that changed me forever. On a planet I call Aquamarine. Aquamarine, there we go. It's all coming together now. I like this music. Oh, it's very it's yeah, it's relaxing me. Oh how pretty is this? Look at the smoke. I need to reach my ship before it's destroyed. Oh, your ship. Okay, I guess we missed that part. Um, okay, uh, map. Oh, give me comic panels. Let's go, baby. I need to find a way to reach the crash somehow. Dive or return? Let's return. Let's return. Okay, so this is sort of maybe a meta between runs. What's stock? I've exhausted my supplies, better take a dive and see what I can find. And there are my vitals. Okay, cool beans. All right, yeah, let's go Let's go for a dive. Let's go for a little, a little bloody dip. Stranded, lost and alone, the seeker entered. Okay. Oh, this is gorgeous. Oh, I love it. The coral woods. Okay, I was still quite shallow. We can sort of see it poking out of the water. Greetings, seeker. I'm your survival class amphibious pod. I'm here to help you stay alive as long as that's all right with you. To get started, I'll show you how to use my controls. Okay, thank you, uh, voice in my bubble. Bubble, uh, Bobby the bubble. Uh, on the terrain, you, you'll see icons indicating where you can travel. Select one and add it to my navigation path. Select the same icon again to move us to that space. All right, well, I want that. I want this shit on the ground. I've sucked it up in me bubble. Every space we move uses one bit of my fuel reserves. Now my tank is running a little low. Thankfully, the brilliant engineers who designed me planned for this to happen. What? They designed a vehicle and they thought about it running out of fuel, did they? Interesting. Uh, very forward thinking. My engine converts certain objects into energy. Like those nearby gems, my sensors indicate that they're brimming with useful energy. <laughs> oh, okay, good. Science! <laughs> <laughs> Move us over one of them so I can pick it up. Well, I already did that, but there you go, Bob. Let's suck up some more gems. Wait, did they move? Is there like a current or something? Now that we have energy in our reserves, let's put some into the fuel tank. First press the up arrow to access my control panel, then look for the button with the battery icon. Uh, okay, up? Or do I have to wait for you to stop? Uh Ooh, can I press it down to put it away? Can I use W? No, I can't. All right, I have to use the arrow. That's fine. 
that's fine. With the control panel up, the battery button uh, to transfer a bit of energy from my reserves into the fuel tank. Uh, hold it down if you want to transfer more than one at once. Uh, the battery button? That's a compass. That's a food. Uh, am I... Oh, hang on. Am I... Oh, power. Power? Ba oh, battery. Here we go. Pretty simple, right? My designer's thought of everything. Energy can also repair my hull when I take damage. Find and press the button with the shield icon to boost my defenses. Oh shit, I'm spending all my bits. That's much better! Don't you feel safer already? Collecting energy allows us to keep exploring, but you also need energy to survive. Let's find you something to eat. I can't eat gems? That's a shame. Um, what about one of those spongy plants? Yeah, put that in my mouth. Uh, my senses indicate that they're a safe and tasty source of nutrition for biological entities such as yourself. Let's go grab one. Are you talking about this little bloody crab looking dude? Yeah, there is a current. Oh, I'm going to need more fuel. Hang on. Fuel me up, baby. Oh, oh shit. Oh, okay, so is that a 1 to 1? 25 to 10. Okay, that's fine. 1 to 1. 1 to 1. Uh, Alright, okay, that's fine. We'll just keep it all... Let's keep it balanced. So I can move multiple at once? Okay, very good. Where's this bloody sponge you're talking a big game about, Bob? I don't see no sponge. Ah, there we go. You call me a sponge? You got one! Does it smell delicious? I don't know why it would, but I do know it would be good for you, and it will give you the energy that you need to navigate us home. Yeah, cool. Um, as you can see, I monitor your vital signs and food stock on the right side of my controls. Press the heart button to eat the food displayed on the screen. Alright, let's eat some sponge. Yuck. All right, now let's get exploring with my engine fully charged for all those gems you've collected. We are ready to travel to a new area. I have to say, this is very exciting. I'm excited too, Bob. After my long range engine, uh, activate my long range engine by pressing the top right switch on the center panel. You know it's ready because the indicator light is on. And select the direction that you want to travel. So this thing here. S. Oh, bloody meow. All right, okay, here we go. Hear that ping? My scanner has detected a unique object in this area. It could very well improve your chances of survival. Wouldn't you agree? Let's look around until we find it. Uh, okay, yeah, cool. I can't... Oh, I can, I can mouse wheel. Oh, is that a floppy disk there? That's a bit mm, fucking meme isn't it? Right, so the current moves like on a turn-based system. So I can move multiple squares and then the current act. That's very board gamey, but that's okay. There it is. Do you see that colorful disc stuck beneath the roots of that huge tree? We should be able to get it from that open section on the water's surface. My center panel, check the top left switch. The indicator light is on. Press the switch uh, to shift us up to the surface. If the light is off, something is in our way and we can't shift there. Uh... Ooh, look at this, my balls are out. Okay, well, let's go over there. Alright. Is that going to work? Oh, I can't duck down. Um, maybe here? I'm right above the disc, I just need to shift back underwater. Hey, there we go. Oh, I think the radar might have helped us as well, because uh, the force perspective might make it difficult with the layers, but I think the radar was going to help us. Well done. Now that we have the disc, we need to analyze it to see what it contains. Sadly, I can't run analysis while my engine is on. Let's head back to the island. Okay. Press the bottom uh, switch on the control panel to access my autopilot map. Then select the info bubble to send us home. If there isn't enough energy, we'll need to collect more gems. Right, so that must be this. Travel to the island for five energy. Uh, yeah. 
Oh, this is so charming and cute. Now, look, it's going to be a slower, like I said, the atmosphere and all that. This is not going to be the pace of all the bloodthirsty boys, of which I am amongst them. Uh, but, you know, maybe this is a good palate cleanser for my regular audience. You might find yourself here curious about the game. I mean, welcome, if you're new to the channel. Um, that doesn't mean that this isn't a wonderful game in and of itself. Um, this is why I play indie games, to see really unusual uh, and innovative things. As the Seeker surveyed her meagre stock, letting out a sigh of disappointment, something on the water's edge glimmered in the corner of her eye. Could it be an alien seashell? Or maybe some sort of dangerous plant, deadly to the touch? No way to know what this strange ocean might wash ashore. Was it worth finding out? Absolutely, put your fingers in it. Amazing! Sitting there in the rocky sand, wet and covered in unknown goo, was a sizable chunk of gem from out in the shallows. How it made it this far into the island was a mystery, but the seeker wasn't about to question good fortune. She dropped it into the pod's energy converter, and in no time she was up 47 energy resources. That's a lot, because I think I had zero. Maybe surviving on this planet wouldn't be impossible after all. There seems to be a disjointed intro because I got the impression that I was here as a sort of like satisfactory, right? I was deployed here to explore this planet and then after that cutscene all of a sudden everything's crashed and I'm trying to survive. Yeah, yeah I, I feel like maybe there's something missing there. Uh, maybe, maybe that's more to come in future development. Or maybe I'm an idiot and I missed something. That's, that's actually quite likely. Um, analyze. Energy 52. The disc contains plans for a unique pod module. It takes 25 energy to craft. Craft. Uh, push back all objects surrounding the pod. Uses 25 power. Load it up. There we go. Now I just have to load it into my uh, new module into the pod. Okay. So we've got mods. I like that it's adding menu items. It's getting more complicated. I find that cool. Repair. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, let's go for another bloody dip. If I don't find a food source soon, I won't last much longer. No, you're probably not wrong about that. Oh, okay. Uh, so this is the coral reef place. Cool. Hmm. Okay. I, I kind of got the impression that my my zipping across was like a fast travel, but maybe I've got the wrong read on that. You know, the super speed. With the mod installed, some of the gems you collect will power my new abilities. Press the bottom right switch on my control panel to access the installed upgrades. Oh. Since we have some charges, let's use my wave ability on that gem cluster. Looks like it could shatter at any moment, so a big watery push should definitely break it into pieces. Yeah, okay. Wave. Have I made a boo-boo? Oh, I should have moved first. I should have moved first. Oh, oh, it pushed me. Okay. Um, this might be better this time. Put it there. Oh, it's... Hey! Masterfully executed. Not a bad way to collect energy, right? Okay, now press the center switch and go back to the main controls. I want to show you something else. Okay. Have you noticed the ocean moving objects in its current? We have. If the pod stays put, the water might push a gem right to us. Press the bottom left switch to end the my movement cycle and see where they go. Bottom left. Is that this? Uh -huh. Oh, the current's shifted? Ah. Pretty neat, right? And using the brake also gave us an extra move. Nature is full of tricks we can use to our advantage. So try to keep an eye on your surroundings. Okay. An extra move, you say? You mean like this? So now that we expanded our map, I thought they were charges. That's okay, let's not... Oh, mate, this is my move here. Ah. Now that we expanded our map, we can travel directly to any discovered area. When you're ready, press the bottom switch, select a location on the map, then activate my autopilot. Um, let's pick up all this crap first. So which way will that push me? Just away, I suppose. Alright. 
Okay, so autopilot wasn't that? Is this one? Wasn't it? No, is this one? Nope. Uh, it was this one. Yes. Travel to the island for three energy. Uh, yeah, okay, sure. Isn't that just going home? Have I made a made a boo-boo here? I think I have. I've become confused, and this is not difficult for me. Map. In we go. Dive. Right. Let it load, I suppose. This is quite nice. I like it. So now we've expanded our map, we can travel directly to any discover. Yep, 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 we covered that. We covered that. Let's bring up the panel. Middle doodaki, and I want to go here. Travel to. Ah. Uh, you just got to select it. You got to select it. I see. Oh, what is. Oh, I've got. I had other buttons there. I remember this place. Let's keep exploring. Move us to the edge of the area in the direction you want to travel. My senses indicate that all directions are open, so take your pick. I will. Um, I, I want energy. I want energon crystals. Right. Looks like our engine is charged up, but it won't always be. If that happens, press the top right switch while at the edge of an area to open the charging interface. And now let's go. This? Yeah, isn't this the speed boost thing? Uh, 28 fuel. No doubt you're tired of me by now. Now, now has this pushed me to a new location? I'm not sure. But there's more I have, uh, haven't have shown you, like how my thrusters work or where my inventory menu is located. There's a lot to discover. That's okay. My genius engineers designed me with hidden functions, so poke around and experiment. Nothing can really go wrong. Besides, I can always regenerate my fuel and hull back on the island. Okay. If you ever need suggestions for where to go, just press my compass bubble. I'll do everything in my power to help guide you. Oh, okay. What's this do? Oh, so it's a it's a Microsoft bloody paperclip. Okay. There's only so much alien sponge you can scavenge, wouldn't you agree? You need a way to grow food. If my predictions are accurate, the more we search the ocean, the more likely we'll find what you need. Okay. Um, okay, hang on. I need to hotwire this baby. And... Oh, it's just on or off, basically. Oh, it's... Right. Um. Oh, look at this! What the fuck is that? Hello? Oh, hey! What? Right. That's fucking... I was ready to be your mate. Hang on, no, no. Get out of here. Get out of here. Instead, you chose death. I'm gonna wave at you. You know what that means. I'm gonna make you fucking explode. You're suffering, you jocks. So I understand it, this module enables me to slam down underwater with great force, creating a large wave that pushes back objects. Probably the only way we can move things around out here. No, I know. I want to keep bashing this thing until it's dead. I don't know. Maybe that's not an option here. Alright. Uh, new plan. Run the fuck away. Stop chasing me. Stop chasing me. What's going on here? You reckon maybe I can smash that? There's a spiky floor in the way, but I don't think it's very sturdy. Ah. Ah. Hang on, how do I get more of these charges? You think maybe I'm in the right way? I think maybe I'm in the way. Hang on. Let's go there. This bloody uh, horrible looking thing is uh, harassing me. Stop. Nah, okay. 
Doesn't seem super interested in a... How do I... I can't move? I guess I just wait. But have I... What's going on, game? Is, uh... Oh, I think my game's bugged. I feel like... I feel like we've bugged out. Like, I can add fuel. None of my buttons are working. What the fuck, game? Oh, we're glitched. Can't do that. See, it says green, but I still can't touch it. Oh, no. We broke it. Okay. Um, What can I do now? What can I do? I can't do anything. Press Q to quit. Uh, hopefully this sends me to the menu. Restart. Let's just continue and see what happens. Okay, it looks like it's put us back in the same area, so that's good. Pod's long range in engine is ready to activate. Right. Now if I check my map. Yeah, yeah. Am I supposed to be going anywhere in particular? What's this button? Find a way to the crash site, find more scrap in the shallows. Mod slots. Yeah. Reference sheet, very cool. Okay. Um, well, no, that's just back the way we came, isn't it? That's no good. Right, this must be the edge of the map because it doesn't want to let me to go any further. Okay, so these little alcoves are quite small. Yeah, f f fuck that dude. Let's get out of here. Meow. So that used these charges, I think, is what happened. See, the fog of war is throwing me because it's not really fog of war. I can't proceed past here. Now, was it waiting that I uh, charged my thing? No, it gave me a move point. Okay, that's fine. Alright, I guess we can... I think we've explored... Okay, so it's not super... Oh, shit. Well, actually... Um, let's just go home and see if we can recharge. Travel to the island for five energy. Let's go. Oh! Rumbling comes from the Seeker's stomach, as if reminding her of a simple task. She scans her tiny island for anything that looks remotely edible. Uh, but it isn't food she sees. A glassy dome, like an underground skylight, sits on the beach. Surely no subterranean aliens live just below the planet's surface. It must be something else, right? Approach always. Curiosity wins the day. The Seeker stood over the bubble. Up close, it looked less like a window than salvage torn from a larger wreck. And something else was underneath it. She flipped over the half dome to reveal two pieces of scrap metal shaped like crude tools. One for digging and one for cutting. She took both back to the camp. The Seeker's new discovery could very well end up being her key survival. Now, I don't really like false decisions in narrative. It shits me and it feels like... Well, I'm not saying that's what's happening here, but a lot of the time it feels like uh, the, the developer 
thinks less of the player. A lot of us can see when a false decision is there that it is just padding. I wonder, and if we do get another one of those choices, I'm going to choose don't approach because it feels like we are advancing the story and I wonder if I'm forced to take those dialogue options whether I like it or not. Um, not the map. Not the map. Not mods. Stock. Garden. What is this? Hey, we got another screen. Okay, well that's very cool. Okay. Tools. What is this? Harvest? I, I don't know how that works. Plants? I need to find plants to grow in the garden. And then back to the beach. Ah, isn't that lovely? Um, okay, cool. Well, look, this might be a good place to sort of just park up. You got an idea of it. I'm not giving it away. You know, I at the end of the day, these videos are just a showcase, right? They're to shout out, they're to raise awareness, give you an idea of this is your sort of thing. But I'm not necessarily here to spoil the whole thing either. What a wonderful little game. Um, definitely a slower pace, right? Definitely more point and click. Um, not exactly narrative heavy, which is usually, you know, when you start going down that path, you start moving towards visual novels and all that sort of stuff. Um, but it still has some fairly uh, well-realized mechanics. It's light, but it's not thin on gameplay, right? We've still got our interface and all our different buttons and our energy transfers and food. So the survival and the loop is light, but it's still moderately complex, which is really cool. Um, yeah, I didn't know what to expect of this, and I, I absolutely am uh, blown away, I suppose. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm impressed. That's, there you go, that's the, probably the term. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you find this interesting, if this is something that you yourself might end up getting. Uh, team, we might just leave it there for the time being, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.